back uh, i cannot say that uh, politics was ever a vocation i thought about when i look back i never thought i would become a journalist when i look back i never thought that i would get an opportunity to study in jnu it was not even in my distant dream you know i come from a place called chatra where i was born you know my maternal side my nana you know mama they used to be there as born chatra you must know is a naxal second naxal impacted most naxal impacted uh, area in the country even today i was born in that as you can understand a lot of under development i studied in a government school and from there on my father was in defense accounts so uh, went to nagaland where my father was posted there we studied uh, there the medium was english so we studied uh, english there and then again from class 10 onwards i came back to rachi for studies because higher studies was good in rachi and uh, the, i studied english on and as then masters in english and then suddenly got into jnu it was all luck you know the country witnessed uh, anti corruption movement under anna you know what happened in time the class seemed to be coming on the street to uh, see the change so i i don't think after emergency any movement like that happened the movement that opposed the emergency and after that is anna movement where people middle class people uh, they, they look so upset and angry with corruption they wanted to change the system there was the time when the upa was in power so i also got caught in the fire of this anti corruption movement and then uh, i realized you know that uh, when i looked at various leadership i found that there were none actually who could be uh, the face to change uh, but briefly i was uh, I knew Arvind Kejriwal also. I was with him, so I realized that he was uh, rather about himself than about changing the system. Such a brilliant, brilliant opportunity where the country was ready to give chance to a third force other than the BJP and the Congress at the national level. This man was thinking only about himself. I said, no, he cannot be a factor of change. Then at that time, Modi ji was working very hard as Chief Minister of Gujarat. He was experimenting with. Little little things here and there to check corruption, like using information technology, using his own leadership style, how to uh, change bureaucracy, how to use bureaucracy to political purpose, you know, of cleansing the system. I realized that he is the man who could be the best bet for the country. And then how my journey started, I thought that uh, if I uh, don't write, if I don't use this chance to write a book on him, I'd be losing a great opportunity. of not being a part of the system if i just stay as a journalist report about that it may not be the correct thing because i knew him uh, from 1990s onwards when he had come to delhi after gujarat he came as secretary i as a journalist had interacted with him i knew him so i thought that it is chance to revisit and see whether he is the man and this is how i ended up writing about things and i'm happy that i did it because um, I have been vindicated that he is a man who actually wants to change the system. A team of researchers, in which there was a lawyer, there were social activists, and there were senior journalists. A team of three people, and we did research for about close to one year. All the books that were written on Modi ji, and then all the news that appeared in the social media, all the links, more than fifty thousand hyperlinks. To write what you find. It's not that we wanted to write something and wanted the research to follow that direction. Facts are not twisted. Facts are as it stands, and facts have been authenticated. So that is the purpose of research. Narendra Modi was the chief minister then of Gujarat. He was surprised that he was talking about having gone and visited that place. Yes, we have gone that new new Delhi, but he was surprised that he visited everything. So he didn't know that uh, we were actually you know doing so much of research on him. So he was himself surprised. is there in modi ji which you don't find in many leaders many leaders think that they have become leader and they have got the right to preach people they don't try to listen modi ji is one leader who tries to listen you go with solution even if he has given you two minutes he will give you hours if he finds that yes this solution is human oriented and this is one thing that made him actually a very good leader when you become chief minister you know that you have 
lot of power. But if you don't know how to use it, because power gets into your head, and that is the problem with most politicians in this country. That when power gets to your head, you are not able to understand what to do. Then you take decisions which are not in favor of people, or you try to make money by misusing power. These things were not there with Modi ji, because he was not a family man. Being a pracharak, he could always. Think about society, but how his action was going to work for the benefit of the society. Let me say with complete responsibility, because here I wear the BJP hat, that all the state governments run by the BJP are running according to ideals of Modi. That you have to implement those people-oriented programs as it is, because this is the way to reach people's heart. There are many problems, you know. For one, police reform could be a problem. The other, legal reform could be a problem. For some, education reform could be a problem. So, first priority has to be to take care of the poor people, to feed those who are hungry. Otherwise, society would come in rebellion, isn't it? I'd like to tell you that you'll hardly find a leader from India. Not influenced by Swami Vivekananda, because Vivekananda such a secular philosophy. He inspires youths, you know, talks about one India, talks about the rich cultural heritage, and he was the greatest exponent of what India was. So uh, Narendra Modi ji was also inspired by him, and uh, his journey improves that. Uh, and perhaps because of that, uh, that explains Modi ji's strong character. Uh, because he imbibed the values uh, preached by Swami Vivekananda.